Hi guys, the problem we have here is the toilet won't flush. The handle does turn okay, but no flush. Um, you can actually hear the siphon trying to flush in the background. Remove the cistern lid to be able to see how the handle connects to the siphon. If the handle is, is connected correctly, and by moving the handle um, you can see the cistern hook move upwards, then the most likely cause of this problem is a degraded or split siphon diaphragm. The siphon diaphragm is integral to the siphon assembly, so the whole siphon will need to be replaced. This how-to every step guide shows you how to replace a toilet siphon. So, step number one, disconnect the handle from the siphon. Disconnect the handle lever arm from the handle and the siphon. Unscrew the lever arm retaining screw with a Phillips screwdriver. Slide the lever arm off the handle axle. Release the lever arm from the siphon hook. Step 2. Unscrew the ball cock. In order to free up some space inside the system, the ball cock needs to be removed. Important note, before unscrewing the ball cock, you need to isolate the water supply to the toilet. This is usually done via a ball valve on the water inlet pipe to the system. Unscrew the ball cock float from the water inlet valve arm. Step 3. Remove all the water from inside the system. Use a takeaway container or similar to scoop out the majority of the water from inside the system. Use a sponge to absorb the last inch of water at the bottom of the system. Use a cloth to absorb the last water droplets. Step 4. Disconnect the pipes that connect to the bottom of the system. Disconnect the water inlet pipe from the thread of the water inlet valve assembly. Use an adjustable spanner to unscrew the union nut on the water inlet pipe. Unscrew and release the water inlet pipe away from the thread at the base of the system. Use mole grips to unscrew the union nut on the overflow pipe. Unscrew and release the overflow pipe away from the thread at the bottom of the system. Unscrew and release the overflow pipe away from the thread at the bottom of the system. Step 5. Remove the cistern 
from the toilet base. Unscrew the two wing nuts on the underside of the cistern. Unscrew the cistern wall screws with a screwdriver. Now the cistern is completely disconnected from the toilet base. Lift the cistern up and away from the toilet base. Place the cistern on a soft surface. You could use some old folded over carpet to avoid damage to the porcelain. With the cistern removed you can see the overflow pipe, the water inlet pipe, the two mounting bolts and the siphon mounting thread. Step 6. Remove the siphon from the system. Use wide mouth pliers to loosen the siphon base nut. You can unscrew the nut the rest of the way by hand, remove the nut and the rubber washer. Push the siphon base thread through the cistern hole and withdraw the siphon from inside the cistern. Note the split in the siphon diaphragm. It is this split that is stopping the siphon from being able to flush. Step 7. Fitting the new siphon to the cistern. Clean the ceiling surface of the cistern base siphon hole both inside and out to ensure a good watertight seal when you fit the new siphon. You can use sif and a cloth to do this. Here we have the Dudley adjustable siphon. See the Amazon link in the description below to this video. This siphon is really good because it's fully adjustable to suit the size of your cistern. The siphon water inlet can be adjusted so it sits as close as possible to the cistern base, therefore using all of the cistern water, meaning a longer flush. The top of the siphon can be adjusted to be right at the top of the cistern to achieve a higher pressure flush. It also has a water saving reduced flush and a built in internal overflow. The other major benefit is that if the siphon diaphragm splits in the future, there is no need to remove the whole system to replace the siphon. The fixing plug can simply be removed to swap out the siphon diaphragm part of the siphon while leaving the siphon base still mounted inside the system. Amazon sell these siphons complete for about £20. They also sell the spare parts kits, um, including the siphon diaphragm. See the Amazon links in the description below. So firstly, lay the new siphon side by side with your old one. Pull out the fixing plug and then expand and contract the new siphon parts so it matches the old one's dimensions. 
You can then optimize the adjustment of the siphon by adjusting the top of the siphon so it sits right at the top of the system to achieve a higher pressure flush. Also by adjusting the siphon water inlet so it sits as close to the system base as possible therefore using all of the system water meaning a longer flush. Then plug back in the fixing plug to lock the siphon configuration. It is important to note that the fixing plug can plug in from either side of the siphon so make sure you choose the side that is accessible from inside the system. Otherwise you will not be able to disassemble the siphon for maintenance without removing the entire siphon from the system. Put the first rubber washer on the siphon base thread then position the siphon thread through the system base hole. Place the second rubber washer on the siphon base thread, then screw on the retaining nut till hand tight then half a turn more with wide mouth pliers. Check for secure siphon fitment and no clashing with cistern internals e.g. the water inlet valve arm. Step 8. Remount cistern on toilet base. Note how the old rubber seal perishes and deforms. Clean up any mould on the toilet base to ensure a good watertight seal between the cistern and the toilet base. Locate the new rubber seal into position on the toilet base. Lift and locate the toilet cistern onto the toilet base. Fix the cistern to the wall by screwing in the wall screws. Screw back on the two wing nuts on the underside of the system. Reconnect the water inlet pipe and the overflow pipe by tightening up the union nuts. Step 9. Reassemble the system components. Screw the ball cock float back on to the water inlet valve arm. Install the handle lever arm. Hook the lever arm onto the siphon hook. Slide the lever arm back onto the handle axle. Screw on the lever arm retaining screw. Turn the water back on. Check the water fills to the correct level. Step 10. Testing the new siphon. Flush the toilet. Observe the water level inside the cistern completely drops and refills again. There we go guys, job done. So here is the every step summary. And here is a list of tools and materials required. We hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, subscribe and leave comments below.